Hi, everybody. Dr. Vong here, world famous bariatric surgeon, author of 13 books, trying to turn on my light. How are y'all doing? Okay, we're going to make some amazing immune boosting, free the fridge vegetable soup tonight. It's going to be amazing with Sandy Rash. She's taught over 1,300 people, 1,300, 300 people how to cook, right? So let's say some hello. Hello, Alabama's in the house, Tennessee's in the house. We're going to go fast into this. We're going to give away the winner. We're going to pick the winner, draw the name of the winner of the $100 swear jar. And we're also going to say, what's up, Ashley? We're going to say, uh, draw the winner to this awesome prize. Somebody's going to win this bad boy. Look at that knife set. We're going to give that away tonight. Comes up with its own little carver here like that. So we're going to do some cooking tonight. We're going to take a little break from COVID. I did COVID today in case you missed it. It's not good. <laughs> COVID's bad and it's going to get worse. Oh gosh, darn it. It's going to get a lot worse. But I did a COVID video today explaining the UK variant using carnations. So you might want to see that kind of explain the mutation in the spike protein. Maybe you liked it. Maybe you didn't. Hopefully you liked it. And um uh, that'll be up. That's up on my YouTube channel. I'll also edit that down, put that up on my YouTube channel. And um, I guess that's all we want to say. We are opening up our food challenge tonight, though. So I've partnered with Food 2.5 with Sandy Rask to bring you guys the most awesome, awesome uh, food help that you can get. It is personalized. We have a great great group of people in our community. Um, so far, it's uh, only about 200 people have enrolled in it. So one out of 200 chance, man, of winning 100 bucks this month and that awesome knife set. Look at that bad boy. Woo -woo! That is a cool knife set. It's in black. I know you've seen some knives, but have you ever seen a black knife? Look at that black blade. What is better for 2020 than a... <laughs> black knife set <laughs> that is the best gift you can get man i'm telling you it's awesome and um i've been using it it's, it's totally sharp the winner is gonna love it the winner of that prize you have to be in the food 2.5 club uh to get it how do you get uh to the food 2.5 club if you wanted to join it you want to go to i have it right here okay at the bottom Join 2.5.com, coupon code GIFT2020. You'll get half off. You'll get half off, right, um, the su subscription price. It's super fun. We do Free the Fridge Fridays. We purge the pantry. We give you instant feedback on your food choices. We do recipes, all sorts of cool stuff. With that, let me bring on my good friend, Miss Sandy Rask, who has helped over 300 people learn how to cook. And her whole mission is to help you get twice the flavor in your food for half the calories, and I say half the time, right? So, Sandy! Oh, so good to be here. I love, to have you. I love being on the show with you. Yeah? Tucson, yeah. You guys, Phoenix. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Hi, Julie. Yeah. That's awesome. Yay, Judy Lugo. Ooh, Judy Lugo. Judy Lugo's been a winner in our, uh, in our challenge. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, briefly, can you summarize what our challenge is, our food 2.5 quality? <laughs> the, the challenge is that for most, uh, most people who have dieted at any amount in their life, but you know, certainly those who have dieted a lot, have lost their love of food. So what we try to do is find that love again, um, but in ways that really keep you on goal. Right? We're finding the love. Pete. Come on. <laughs> it's not like an 80s song. <laughs> but we do. We find the love um, by upping the flavor um, in any way that we can find. And then we use a ton of spices. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you can drop out many of the calories below it and still totally enjoy the, um, the food experience. And just to be clear, in the Food 2.5 group, like yeah. we do live cooking demonstrations, it's not yeah. free. Recorded. It's really interactive. It is. Uh, we get people to post their pictures. We comment. We bring them on camera with us. We walk. We have them walk through the fridge. Totally. 
Totally. I mean, every day is a different day. And not to say we don't do some pre-recorded stuff, because I think sometimes that's just a better format. But most days it's live. Um, it's live with me or it's live with you or it's live with uh, with our partner, Doug. Mm. Oh, Christina. Yeah, Christina's awesome. I love having her in the challenge. See, here we go. Here we go. Donna K. Hold on. Marta. Donna. Donna mm -hmm. nice. Eating but not boring food. Donna K. Weston Shepherd. That's awesome. All right. We're going to make some soup tonight. Yo, yo. Yeah. You know, you know, we're making soup tonight, but we're going to make soup tonight. Okay. So the, only <laughs> thing I, the only thing I've done so far is, um, is sweat some onions. That's it. So the oldies. I'm sorry. Sweating to the oldies. Oh, yeah, totally. Sweating to the oldies. So then the question becomes, what do we want to do next? And this is how we would do it on a free the fridge Friday. Normally, I just swing my fridge open. You'd look inside and you'd tell me what to make. Oh, hey, hey, before we do that. Yes. <gasps> hey, I want everybody to hit share, tag your accountability partner, because we're going to do the yeah. drawing real quick. Ooh, we, still, we're gonna, we almost forgot. Almost forgot I knew I was ready to get into cooking. Let's do the drawing for the $100 swear jar. Oh, my God. Yeah. So hey, how do you me personally, I'm going to send you $100 via Venmo. But what did I do to help with the with the swear jar? What can you do? No, what did I do? Oh, she ate a fish eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> last week, last Thursday, Sandy ate a fish eyeball, and that rounded up our swear jar to 100 bucks. So we're going to start the new January swear bar, bar, uh, jar tonight. Ashley Kirby's watching, so she's our swear counterer. Awesome. And, uh, so every swear from tonight is for January. Um, I haven't decided the gift for January, but I'll put up a post. It'll, it might, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think it should be? A pressure <sighs> cooker? I, I, I love the idea of a pressure cooker. Yeah. Love, yeah. Cause I, there's grill, so many flat iron grill tonight and I'll show you how I used it. We can, we can yeah. incorporate that in the soup. I think that air fryer. I'm not an air fryer fan, but, I have a convection oven, so I'm kind of a spoiled girl. Like if I didn't have a convection oven, I'd want an air fryer. Mm. All right. All right. So let's do this word jar. How do you want to do this? How are we going to pick the winner? Oh, okay. So I have, I have everybody's name in here. Oh, let me. I have everybody's name in here. All right. This is, whoa, okay, wait, I just, some just fell out. Let me just put them back in. <laughs> yeah, put them back in. I like, try again. There For we go. Thanks, Sandy. Fucking A. <laughs> right? I, I, $100 of the swear jar. All right, drum roll for the winner of the December $100 swear jar. Put it up here so I can't see. No cheating. Who is it? Who is that? Rachel Dunn. Rochelle Dunn. Excuse me. Rochelle Dunn. I know how to say her name properly. Rochelle Dunn is in Alaska. Yay. Hey, everyone. Hey, everyone. Congrats, Rochelle Dunn. Tag her. Let her know she just won our very first yeah. $100 swear jar. If you want to be a part of the January swear jar, you got to join. Oh, that's um, so cool. Join 2.5.com, coupon code GIFT2020. Get half off and you'll be in for the next drawing. You'll be in the club. Yes? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> <laughs> look, at look, look, singing bird, bitch. <laughs> singing bird, put a dollar in the swear jar. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, all right. Let well, me done. That's it. There it is, right? All yeah. right. Everybody's saying congrats to Rochelle. Yeah, hey, it's tough times, man. Like right now, a hundred bucks. That's Some a, that's people a haven't thing. been working. And just in case, so everyone tags it the right way. It's it said Rochelle because I've because I've asked her, and it's R A C H E L L E. Rochelle done. Well done, Rochelle. Yeah. <laughs> not Rochelle. It's not Rachel. It's not Rachel. Rachel. Yeah, it's not it's Rochelle done. All right. Rochelle. Now. All right. Awesome. Um. And when do you want to give out the knife set? <gasps> I think we need to do knife? a little bit of cooking because I can smell my onions. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna burn onions if we don't get to the next part. Oh no, okay. Go go onion. So you're softening onion. Yeah, I'm I'm turning that down. Okay. So the next thing is I was gonna make just a basic vegetable soup. And you you can't go wrong. I've got a variety of vegetables here. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit so you can see. I've got zucchini that I pulled out, um uh, celery, I've got a, a couple of different colors of carrots, I've got some potatoes and garlic. I actually did um, you know, do full garlic cloves this time. And that would be really, really good. And I've got some greens that can go in and I've got some broth and, and that would be awesome. 
But last night we made this dish and I tried this new product, this organic yellow curry paste, and I've been dreaming about it. And so that good? it's that good. <laughs> and so I kind of get some for Erica. I know. I kinda, I'm going to change the label to duck. Here we go. So that way she'll start dreaming about curry duck, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Curry duck. With, well, <laughs> did you just say curry duck? Because, you know. <laughs> I didn't say curry dick. Oh, oh wrong, oh. wrong. Um, but anyways, I thought it would be kind of fun to do a um a curry version of this instead of just going you know regular with just garlic and some basic spices. I thought we could put some ginger and lemongrass in. Um, we could put some different like smoky turmeric. So that's an option if we go the first. Hey, round, our girl Rochelle Dunn is on. <gasps> Rochelle, oh that's awesome! I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Hot duck. Oh my God. Here we go. This is your <laughs> um, you know I had to put that on there. So Sandy, you need to join the Food 2.5 Club. This other Sandy, Sandra. I know, right? Oh, my friend. Oh my gosh, yeah. We have so, so much fun. So I also have these really cool. They're not to be confused with Heather Rochelle. Rochelle, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now 40. Oh, yeah. oh, wait, let's just say that quietly. Happy birthday to Heather Rochelle. Awesome. Yeah. So I have also these um, these really cool, um, this is uh, Parmesan cheese rinds, uh, Parmesan Reggiano. So these are really good. So this could also go into the broth. So I need some help. I love that tip because a lot of people, if they, if they, if they use hard cheeses, they yeah. also throw away that rind, but it makes for an amazing soup. It has totally a does. creamy, it's yeah. totally edible. People don't think it's edible. They think it's like a rubber coating. Nope, it's totally edible. It's also freezable. So I, when I'm not ready to use it, I just put it into a bag and I have a bag of them in my freezer. Mm -hmm. um, so the question is, do I go kind of down the minestrone kind of path, more of a Mediterranean Italian, or do I go more, um, more curry Indian kind of style? Same veggies, but different spice profile. So who's, who's got an opinion? Oh, Christina likes the rinds. Yep. I love that you love that tip. Use the parm. Okay, I think we're going down the cheese. All right, beautiful. So this is easy. I'm going to put some more veggies in then while we're cooking. I'm putting carrots in. So the order that you put the veggies in are how long they take to cook. And the veggie and the carrots are the <laughs> hardest. Hey, uh, we, we have a naughty girl. No, no. Come on. <laughs> Sandy has no cock tonight. Can we keep it clean today? <laughs> no cock. No cock for mercy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, and I'm putting celery in because you can't go wrong. No matter what we do with the spice profile, you keep talking to them. I'm just going to keep putting veggies in. We got some people. Jenny's voting for minestrone. Okay. Um... Uh, curry, Gail McCarthy says spicy. Angela Ju says curry style. Oh. Lisa Camax says Indian. Med just say no to pseudoscience says Mediterranean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ashley says I'm at $4.50. <laughs> oh boy. Or no, she just uh, ticked off four and five. No tip. No, they had no idea about the cheese rind tip. Isn't that amazing? Every time I say that, it's like I forget that that so many people don't know it. How about sausage? Singing bird is thinking sausage. Okay. Uh, Marcy says clam chowder. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this isn't open ended. Like go anywhere you want. Right, shrimp, shrimp and grits, shrimp creole, boiled shrimp, shrimp cocktail, okay. shrimp. Okay, okay, shrimp. Left control. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you went all Forrest Gump on us. <laughs> that's right. The choice is Italian or Indian. Oh, that's man. it. <laughs> Five bucks because I said cock twice. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> hey, people are already learning about this tip about the cheese rinds. So Robin Davila Davila. Nice. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna make a choice if you don't. I need to put spices in now. Alan Wong wants to know if this is live. No, Alan, this is recorded. This is recorded. I am recorded. I am recorded. <laughs> I am a robot. 
that's right. That's right. Okay, what am I putting in next? You motherfucker. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, B. What the fuck your... is wrong with you? <laughs> oh my god. What do you want to see? Where am I? Do you want the cheese to go in or the curry? Oh, Eileen says curry. All right. Oh my god. You guys are, you guys are killing me. All right. Oh boy, we're still split in half. Okay, here's what I'll do. I will make one tonight, and then I'll come back on Wednesday and make a second. Whatever we don't decide. Let's so do, let's do. I feel like let's let's do like a nice Italian soup. Got it. Got it. All right. But I think so, that's more approachable. We're just starting off. We got it's the beginning of the month. We need to start them off kind of slowly. Kind of slow. All right. The, uh, I'm gonna, you know I'm what I mean? The cheese thing. All right, so I put in there carrots and celery. They've been cooking just a bit. They cooked into the onions. I'm Love gonna it. go ahead. I missed the garlic, so I'm gonna put that in. And look at this. I chopped garlic by hand. I never do that. I use my two. I, I I prefer chopped garlic. I've tried garlic I, in a jar and pre-chopped. It's nasty. Uh, the only one I like is the one in the tube. And I it's just because I'm lazy and I'm doing so much cooking these days that I go to the tube now. Hey, what do you think of my coffee mug? This is tea. I'm drinking hot tea. <laughs> it's Rob Ross. And what I, happens is when you put hot liquid in there, we don't yeah? the background changes into the picture. Oh, it's a mood cup. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, I like that. You have so many mugs. Every time I see you in the morning, you have a different mug. Like, do you I like for, I bought that for Erica for her birthday. Oh, did you? Wait, oh. Wait. <laughs> he, he said, who's Bob Ross? I was like, I know. <laughs> <Are you right? laughs> um, okay, potatoes went in. I had just had a, a couple handfuls of, of little potatoes that I cut quartered. Here, I'll show you. I should have I should have held it up. See, potatoes. So we're going to coat that in. I've got to figure out what spices I'm going to put in here. And I've got zucchini I'm throwing in. I just put some salt and pepper in earlier while you guys were trying to decide. And traditionally, in um, in a minestrone or a, an Italian style vegetable soup, we're gonna have garlic in it. We'll have oregano and thyme. So let me grab the oregano and thyme. Yeah, that's a good boy. All right. So this is no, that is not that. Yeah, that's that. Okay. All right. So thyme. Oh, I know where I got it. Right here. Okay, so oregano. So I'm we're doing a nice coffee Italian soup. Yeah, just, you know, really oh. basic. Yeah, so this is a um, really good oregano. I buy it bulk. This one came from Penzi's. I, this is the best, and I'm now down to the bottom of this jar, and I bought like a, I don't know, a, a four or eight ounce bag. I mean, I've been going through a lot of oregano because um, it goes well in, in any Mediterranean, and it goes well into um, a lot of Latin foods too. And then thyme. Just basic, basic thyme. I'm going to throw some of that in. So garlic, thyme, oregano. That's kind of the profile we're going for. So let me get that to the bottom. All right. Then in the layer, so we've got spices now that need to bloom a little bit. So we'll give that a second. Then we're going to put, um, usually there's some beans in it. Um, it could be garbanzo beans. It could be um, kidney beans. I didn't have any of those today, and I didn't know what direction we were going to go. So I made an Instapot full of, does Sandy ever say fuck? Do I say fuck? V, do I say fuck? <laughs> it's like $50. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> so, um, I do what are we up to? The swear jar. You just blew up the swear jar, man. I'm telling you. I, I say that word. I don't usually say it on my show, and that's what's so funny about having V on. V is like the opposite of me. In our group, we t I just tend not to swear in the group because I love cooking. You know, there's nothing to swear about. Um, I'm not talking about COVID or, or, or the economy or anything. We're talking about the love of food. So um, what I did was I went into my cupboard to see what kind of beans I had. Um, normally, you'd like a navy bean or a kidney bean or a, or a chickpea. I didn't have any of that dried today. For, I think I've been using quite a bit of it. Anyways, I had these beans called adzuki beans, A-D-Z-U-K-I. I mean, look at these. They're kind of cute little red beans. They're adorable. 
And so I cooked up a pound of meat. <laughs> Azuki? Azuki, yeah, they're- Azuki, what the fuck are those? <laughs> they're, little red beans. they're little teeny tiny red beans. They look like little hemorrhoids. Okay, really, seriously? Seriously, I think you need to put another dollar in for that. Because <laughs> you talked about your birthday. Birthday. <laughs> At any rate, soup goes a lot faster if you cook beans from dry in your Instapot before you actually get to it. Now, we could make this whole soup and we could cook the beans right in it. We could cook the beans and then make soup. Um, is there any meat in the soup? You'll see. What I, I had a couple of choices since we're going... Um, kind of the Italian Mediterranean. What I'm going to do is at the end, you'll have to make a choice because I'm going to have protein that I put on top of this, but this is going to be all vegetarian inside of it, except for the, um, I've got broth that's chicken broth. Um, so and Zuki beans, they're so pretty and they're so soft. They're just, they're just lovely little beans. Boom. Use what you have. I mean, it doesn't, there's no rules in this. We use those in, um, we use those in Asian desserts. Like that's, uh, what, I, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, it's a, in Vietnamese. They're, they're soft. They're a little bit sweet. They're just nice. Mm. I like them better, actually, than kidney beans. How about cannellini beans? Cannellini beans would also be really good. So mm. you, the rule of thumb is when if you buy them canned, canned is fine. I'm going to judge you a little bit. Mary but, Ryan does not want hemorrhoid soup. Okay. <laughs> okay, you all, you all She's like Canadian. Canadian. She's naughty, you know? <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> yeah, she is. All right, so I'm just going to think. And Koreans too, nice. So I'm just gonna put a couple of um, you know, ladles full of these beans right into the um into the soup. All right, so that's the next part. So we have all our vegetables in, we put our beans in. All right, we put our spices in, we put our spices down in. The next layer is to put the um liquid in. Okay. Are you gonna no use water? There. No, no water today. No, water doesn't have enough flavor. Huh. What if, what if you want like, you know, um, you want to like a clear soup as opposed to like a brown soup that you often get when you use like vegetable stock? You could, I mean, I, the clearer is going to be um, chicken broth. If you put water in there and you put your spices in appropriately, you're still going to end up with, with a dark colored broth. Mm. So if you truly want it clear, then what I would do is that's more of an, an Asian style soup. That's more of a noodle soup. A cocker bun. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So what did I just put in there? I it's not the conversation about beans and gas. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Yeah, it happens. It's the musical fruit. Exactly. The more you do. <laughs> Hey, right. I actually think sugar gives you more gas than uh, the beans do. Oh yeah, I think like gluten, carbs, things like that. They'll blow exactly. You. And I think they're blaming the poor beans. You know, <laughs> I think that. I think, no, I think it's a proven thing about beans and no, right. lectins. You can't digest them. It's true. It's true. I'm, I'm just I'm just having fun. But I think the the worst gas actually is. You're absolutely right. It's the 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 um, simple carbs and the sugars. Um. So I'm what I'm doing is bone broth. Okay. Um, I like bone broth because it has um, really good flavor. It's got the essence of the of the chicken in it. I happen to really, really like this. Um, a lot of times in the winter, it doesn't get that cold here. But it can't. It... <laughs> <laughs> That's of the bone. <laughs> really? I thought you were the essence of the chicken. I was like, yeah, I just... like the essence of the bone, guys. Just what oh. you want to know. <laughs> she likes the bone. And that is not water you are drinking. This I'm drinking vitamin. No water. I am that drinking not water. This is water. That's a martini. I am just drinking water today. All right. You know, I, I do a detox every New Year's. I quit alcohol until Valentine's Day. What do you think about detoxing like that? I I think that's a it's a great thing. I mean, I'm not into the cleanses i don't think there's any science around cleansing you know um cleansing things out but i do know especially during the holidays that we probably do a little bit more of things we shouldn't on a regular basis and so if you if you consider just abstaining a detox yeah i think that's a it's, i think it's a great idea <laughs> I, can't, I can't 
can't work with you. I cannot. <laughs> I lean since I drive you to drinking. <laughs> I, I believe that she is right. Okay, so more things that we're going to put in. We'll put this in at the end, but we're going to put greens oh, in there. Good. Some beautiful Swiss chard, which I love. Um, but we got to bring this to a boil first and let it all just get happy together. And then we'll put the greens in at the at the last minute. And when it's warm, we'll go ahead and put um, put our put our cheese rinds in. So we've got uh, we've got most of that going. And is that it? No, we're getting close. We're kind of close. We have more decisions. So we could make the liquid in there. I missed that. I was too busy laughing about the boner. <laughs> <laughs> Is there okay. liquid in there? Okay. So I have in there carrot. Uh, I start with an onion. Then I went to garlic. And then we put in thyme and oregano, salt and pepper. Then we put in, oh, I know what I forgot to add. Okay. I've got one more thing to add. But but let me just keep keep going. Then I put carrots, celery, carrots, celery, potatoes. And zucchini in there okay because mm. those were the those were the veggies that i had in the fridge then i put those beautiful little i'm just gonna say it beans in there okay <laughs> um, beans. yes yes i did <laughs> i know right we are gonna need a uh, a thing at the beginning all right <laughs> we're yeah. the only way did our cooking show <gasps> that's oh, an idea oh. <laughs> <laughs> i got a food network idea <laughs> right, right. Except it couldn't go on network TV, only on uh, on Facebook, right? Yeah, there right. Is actually, there is actually some talk show where these two comedian guys are like talking shit and like smoking joints and stuff on camera and drinking alcohol. Oh, that's a right. late night TV show. I have to. I don't remember what it's called. It's supposed to be. Re it's really popular. I imagine it is. Um, I, I I don't know. I don't know that one, but I'm you know. I'm the last one on, on stuff like that. All right, so we're bringing that, um, the cheese rind, you don't have to um, fish it out. It totally dissolves into it. And it is, it gives it a, like a velvety texture with hardly any cheese at all. It's mm -hmm. unbelievable. All right, so then I put um, chicken broth in there, the bone broth. Bone broth, yes I did, okay? <laughs> um, the last thing I'm gonna put in, I, I don't do a lot of tomato, but I made this um, this tomato juice earlier in the week. Um, if anybody was watching uh, the episode where I did, um, I, I made, uh, what do we call them? Bloody Mary martinis. Um, this is tomato juice for the Bloody Mary martinis. Where was my invite for that one? You? I'm, yeah. <laughs> you need to do that together in February when you come off of your um, your detox. Well, again. <laughs> oh my God, we had so much fun. I went for more than an hour on different cocktails. Um, so, anyways, this is <laughs> cocktail. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put the tomato juice in there. Just to give it Kurt has a good point. Watching on YouTube, farting helps with social distancing. That is true. <laughs> that is true. You're oh saving God. the world tonight, Sandy, with this bean soup. Fantastic, fantastic. All right, now it's it's um, coming to a slow boil, so I'm gonna take the rinds and I'm just gonna put them in and let them cook with this. Oh. And it's gonna go, I put the... <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are we doing now? What are we doing? I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. putting in the rind. I thought that was like, we should have built up to that because everyone's like, <laughs> oh my God, cheese <laughs> rind, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. I need to do a quick play here, let me fish it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the rind is in there. Okay. <laughs> All right, then um, let's see. Hang on, I'm I'm losing my way. Okay. All right. So then, when we want to serve this, we're gonna just let that cook. It's gonna do its thing. It's it's um it's all beautiful. Then when we want to plate it, we can so add protein. You can use lentils instead of beans. You could. You absolutely could. I, I could have easily in my Instapot cooked a batch of lentils and thrown that into the soup. Mm -hmm. um, I I mean, you could you could do um, quinoa, you could do lentils, you could do any kind of bean, you could do any kind of rice. Honestly, um, that's the that's the beauty of it. And what I try to do is do the same seasoning in the Instapot as I'm going to do in the soup. Oh, nice. Just, what, what do you think of this? What do you think of this idea? Bone broth is really good for boosting the immune system. I'm, I'm a huge fan of bone broth. 
I think it boosts everything. I think it reduces inflammation. I think it absolutely boosts the immune system because the immune system isn't fighting inflammation. So I think it's a brilliant choice. Yeah, it's pretty nice, especially during the winter time when it's um, pretty chilly outside for some people, just a little sip of bone broth. Now that becomes a problem when you're a vegan or vegetarian. So what, would, what can you do in that case? Um, it's a it's a great question. Um, I, there's there's many different ways that you can get um, immune immune boosts. Um, you have to rely a lot more on um, herbs and and spices. I was going to say that I, I think I think if you're a vegan and you want kind of a a booster shot in the morning, I would do like a cocktail of maybe apple cider vinegar or lemon yeah. juice, some ginger, uh, fresh lemon juice. Yeah, press it. Yeah. It's yeah, not, it's not the same sort of warm. I'm kind of there's that mushroom. Was it the dandelion tea or you were telling me about that's like a substitute for coffee? Oh, yeah. The um, it's the mushroom it's, or dandelions. No, it's mushroom. It's a uh, is it the reishi mushroom? Yeah, I'll have to look it up. I want to make sure I'm saying it correctly. It's a nice coffee substitute, but that would also be nice. Yeah, no, I totally agree with you. But they, but you've got to get it. You've got to get it in a different way. Um, as a as a vegan, oh, here's or, a, what about miso? Miso and miso's got some good principles oh, so. properties to it, but you'd still have to boost it with um, ginger or garlic. Um, or uh, why is bone broth so expensive? Oh, because because, because you can't shortchange the cooking. Great bone broth is made in time, um, so it's do it real quick. You oven roast it. Yeah, the cheaper option is to make your own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, um, what I would do is when I roast a chicken, um, eat the chicken for dinner with, you know, whatever you're going to make, then take those bones and make the, the broth from that. But it takes, it takes many hours. Um, again, the Instapot's an awesome one for that. I got to start, I've got to start doing that more because this do it in two or three hours to make a nice bone broth. So I get, yeah. Cause like this, is like, this is three cups and this mm -hmm. is, um, seven fifty, and that just, like it doesn't feel that bad in one bag, but oh my God, when you're using several bags a week, you go, God, that's just, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's expensive when you can do it from, from the bones of a chicken. You're, you're, you're a know. terrible vegetarian. I, <laughs> I'm actually not. I, I am plant priority. Oh, I yeah. like that. Plant priority. Yeah. Plant priority. And if I eat meat, it's usually, um, you know, three or four times a week and it's a two ounce serving. So right, look, at um, oh, look at your cup. It's all black. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try not to pour this on me. Ow, son of a bitch. Ooh, yeah, right? Yeah. So I just poured in some hot tea. Oh, well, that's awesome. I'll leave it right here on my shoulder and y'all can watch it change. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking. That's all right. So, no, I am I am not a vegetarian. I'm not a vegan, but I am, but I am plant priority. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, you'll notice that I haven't I haven't put any greens in yet because I don't like slurpy greens. <laughs> I don't know why when you say the most harmless words like slurpy, it makes me laugh. <laughs> this is the image of you <laughs> slurpy. <laughs> Sounds so sexual when you say that. No, well, you know, Did, are you I think, like a sex phone line operator in the past. Oh my god, no! Come on, can you even imagine? They'd be asking for their money back if that's what I did yeah, for a living. You know? cool? Look at that! Look, the painting has appeared. Oh, wow. that's awesome! All right, I'll tell you what. For the prize for January. Yes. I will include your very own Bob Ross mug. Oh, that's awesome. It won't be the only prize, but I yes. will include a Bob Ross mug. Oh, you guys, you want to get in on this? Yeah. I mean, come on. This is this not fun. This is this is probably the most fun. Say, say yes in the comment section if you think I should throw in a Bob Ross mug. I think that's super cool. I think it's a and that's a mood mug. All right. <laughs> so the top of the soup, if you wanna, if you wanna you leave it in the mood. <laughs> You put your vegetarian, um, you know, sort of broth in there. You make it a vegetarian soup. You can stay stay in your world. Or you can waffle two worlds, right, and make it a vegetarian soup. And this works in families where you've got kind of mixed 
you know, a mixed bunch where some like protein and others or animal protein and others want to stay vegetarian. A lot of times I make the vegetarian soup and then I just put my protein on top. Mm. So I have more choices. Um, let me bring, let me bring the choices over here. So on top, some of the things that I would do, um, I do have bacon, so I can do some crispy bacon on top. I like, if I was going to, I know it's not vegetarian. Nope. Nope. Now we're talking about the, the protein part for the, you know, for the protein lovers. Um, if I honestly, if I were doing bacon, I would have started with the bacon, pulled it out and then cooked with the, a little bit of the bacon fat. That's the, that's the best way to put bacon in. Cause then you get the flavor without a ton of bacon in it. Um, but the other things that I have that are really good, that'd be super good on this soup. Um, I've got this beautiful, this is leftover from the holidays. Um, so a couple um, pieces of that on top of the soup would be so good. Um, another option, which is one of my favorites. And can we I clarify real quick? Go back to that salmon. Yeah. It's a smoked salmon, pre-smoked, right? Yeah. But there's no cooking to it. You just kind of fork shred it and put it right on top, right out of the package, right? Just to clarify. Right out of the package. And this stuff is the bomb. I love it. It's not inexpensive. Um, this is like our, our one of our holiday treats um, that, that I love. You know, oh, sorry, yeah, I'm gonna need to throw that into the bonus or something. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna be broke. <laughs> I'm gonna be in candy after all this. I know, I know, I know. Or another great option on top of soup, and I do this all the time is I'll poach an egg. Um, and then that way I can get a little bit of protein and my um my vegetarian family members can can be happy too. So totally um totally up to you guys you tell me what what kind of protein i'm putting on top of the the soup you have a choice of bacon smoked salmon or a poached egg and if you just want to see a poached egg cooked um then i can i can do that as well poaching yeah. egg is harder than people think i watched this whole uh, mm -hmm. american test kitchen this morning when they're making eggs benedict yeah yeah i thought it was just you dump it slowly into some boiling water but that's not that's not the case mm -hmm. I found two things make a difference. And let's just see if we can get water boiling fast enough. Don't they swirl the water? Because they said that doesn't work. No, 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 no. I gave up that one. Vinegar. Uh, vinegar in the water works. The other thing is I crack it into a cup. I put it right at water level. And I, I'm, oh God, I'm just going to say it. I slide it into the water. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you watching your words now? It's like you're nervous or something. I think so like, I never realized like what I would say would just set somebody off like that. <laughs> I don't know what to do with sliding into water. That's not really. But look at that Bob Ross coffee mug. That makes you want to join Food 2.5 right there. That's we don't right. make mistakes. Damn it. We have happy accidents, man. I like it. I, I, some I like of you it. motherfuckers were happy accidents. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> you know what's funny about this? I'm not even drinking. I do, right? I actually think you're funnier and dirtier when you don't drink. Oh, you haven't seen me. <laughs> you haven't. <laughs> you just wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So am, I, so am I poaching an egg or am I um, doing salmon or am I doing both? Ooh. You got to be careful not egg drop soup. Nope. 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 $16. $16 already in just one episode? <laughs> Mary writers have heard that I said that some people were happy accidents. <laughs> My, Michael's one of them. Happy, <gasps> joyful, <laughs> loving accidents. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> uh, people are frightened. A friend I went to school with who was in her 30s when she found out her parents had been lying about how long they'd been married. Like all her life, they've been lying. <laughs> and they turns out her older brother was a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a very nice term. It's not a very nice term. Do I need to put a dollar in for that one? Uh, <laughs> technically a swear term. Used okay. to be when I was growing up, bastard was naughty. And then I remember when they allowed that on television. Yeah? Sorry, yeah. What All are you right. doing now? That looks important. I'm putting Swiss chard into the soup. So just because I like to get I like to get some greens in, you know? Um, do you have choices on greens? Um Sometimes I like to put the greens just in the bowl and pour the hot soup over it so that the greens don't actually just stay with the soup. 
um, but sometimes you want, you know, like these are, this is Swiss chard, so it's a little bit um, woodier than most grains. So it, um, it can handle being cooked into the soup. And, uh, and <laughs> okay, what did I, oh, yeah, oh my God, I can't. Every food turn. There you go again. You're all back to the wood. You know, like Sandy loves some wood, wood, wood stuff. It's yeah. been a long COVID, right? Is it a long COVID? <laughs> Show you a long COVID. <laughs> no, I mean, we're going to be in COVID for like the whole year, 2021. That's what I mean. Oh my God. I, don't, I don't know that I'm going to I don't know what you thought I meant. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, right? You were just, just to, you know, saying all oh, so, so kind and nice and innocent. Um, all right, so let's just see. I don't have this boiling yet. I, but, I accidentally cut, kicked myself out of my own stream. <laughs> <laughs> like first time I um I I did an interview with Doug. I kicked Doug out. I was like, okay. <laughs> There he was talking and I was being silent and I was playing around with the screen trying to figure out how to put it on the screen yard. All right. So I'm gonna um I'm gonna break this egg right into um, an espresso cup. Show us what you're doing. So I broke the egg into the espresso cup. All right. So then when oh I need vinegar. Hang on, give me one second. Let me grab vinegar. Here. I'll just use this one. This one's rice vinegar. It well, doesn't have the vinegar. enough rice wine vinegar. Yes, it's just rice wine vinegar. It's all right. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in. It doesn't matter what kind you use. Because you don't put enough in to really change the flavor. Yeah. You, and I wouldn't put a heavy one. Like, I wouldn't put balsamic in there. Mm. But uh, but any of the light colored ones, champagne, white wine, doesn't matter. All right. So now it's um, it's um, not quite boiling. You know, it's, it's a <laughs> almost, I'm now all verklempt. I can't even think of what to say. Um, but what I'm going to do is take this cup, put it in, and the water level is very low. And I'm going to put it right above the water level and pour it in so it doesn't fall very far. That's kind of the key. Uh, and you just want it to, to kind of go down the side. Ooh. Right. Okay. And it's now it's in. It's, it's going to hold together much better. I wish I could kind of show you over into this. But give it a minute, and I'll pull it out of the water, and I'll show you. Now, All right. I mean, what, what if people don't like their eggs runny? For a poached egg. Well, so then they have to go longer in the water, or they can scramble the poor little suckers. Like it doesn't, you know. I'm not, water boil it or something. Like that. Yeah, exactly. I. Um, it doesn't matter how you, you know. You can do a um, a hard yolk and a point in a poached egg. It's a, it's harder to do. I know. I can't even speak. I'm a, <laughs> you're just killing me. Oh man, you're pretty good. You know, I noticed you something. You, you didn't taste your soup yet. Is that do you not taste along the way? I like to taste along the way. I usually like to taste along the way. I did not. Um, I did not do that. All right, here, let's get a hi, baby. I didn't tell you guys earlier, but I have two dogs in the kitchen with me. It may get at at, at any point. It could get noisy. Ooh, that's a pretty. That's a really pretty uh, broth. Mm. All right, I want a spoon. <laughs> I know, I want a spoon, not a not a ladle. Here, we'll put that back in there. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna show you this broth. Look at how pretty that is. Ooh. Yeah. So you guys. So this has here, let me just pull a little of that out in the ladle because it's gonna be much easier to see. So I just put a little bit of that tomato juice in there. Okay, and it's mostly chicken broth, and then it has the rind that now has has cooked into it. It's a it's a really pretty kind of burgundy, but not a heavy duty like it's not a heavy duty tomato soup. It's just a gorgeous, um, you know, kind of ever so lightly cheesy broth. Mm. The cheese in it actually gives it this like almost buttery feeling as you're as you're uh, eating it. It's so, it's so good. And you know, I don't know if you know, I, I've said this before on the show. So if you haven't, haven't seen me before, I don't, um, I don't do a lot of tomatoes. You can see them like, I get like skin issues if I eat too many tomatoes or too many strawberries. So I'll do a little bit of tomato like this. I find if I pull the seeds out and if it's just strained, I'm okay with a little bit of it. But, um, but whole tomatoes are not, are not for me. All right, let me pull this egg out. 
and I'll show you. And there you go. Can you see that? All right. Look at that beautiful egg. Wow, that took no time. No time at all. And it's and it's perfect. So let me dish up a little of the soup because the soup is is done. It's hot and it's gorgeous. So I'm going to put a little bit of the soup in here. That's crazy. If I wasn't really bothering you, that'd take you 30 minutes to make that delicious soup. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> a, yeah. <laughs> um, that's annoying little brother. Hey, but what what about this? What about <laughs> right? Right? Okay. Let me put that on top. Okay, I'll show you. Look at this. Now I've got the egg right on top. But you know what? I'm kind of feeling the now that we have it out, I'm gonna pull out some of the um, smoked salmon because I want to show you what's that. Hey, you better get some smoked salmon on there. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, you don't use all it. Can you repack reseal it or you rewrap no, it? I'll put it into a baggie. Okay, you put it in a baggie. Okay. If it if it even makes it through the night. <laughs> there are there are four of us eating this meal. Um, and, and we all like smoked salmon. <laughs> I've never, right. never actually bought one of those cause I didn't really know. Oh my God. How to cook it you want it wild. You want it from, um, Scandinavia. If you can get it from there, it's so good. It has this skin on it. I love the skin. I'm going to end up eating the skin, but I pull the skin off for my other family members. We've talked about this before. I know. I know. Don't, don't go there. Just, just let it go. Just this one. Yeah, I was going to talk about skin. I'm not going to now. Okay. All right. So you can see it's, it's a little bit oily, but it's um, the smell. Oh my God. You can smell like, I think this one was alder wood that it was smoked on. Let me just, let me see if I can see. This one doesn't say this came from Norway. Uh, nutrient dense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, non GMO, no antibiotics, no added hormones. This is all all good, but it doesn't say the kind of wood I've seen before. I'm, I'm going to guess it's alderwood because it just smells. I have pepper that smells just like that. Mm. So beautiful. So late on us. What's the price on that little sliver you're holding in your hand? $10, $10 for four ounces. Wow. Yeah. It's that. That's what I say. This is holiday food. This is like leftover holiday food. So and you, if you do the like Asian math on that. That's $40 a pound. Exactly. So what we do is I'm going to take, this will be for four people. You know, so we don't do a ton of this. And then normally what we'll do on um, on Christmas morning, I'll um, I'll shred this. And then we'll have um, cucumber rounds and we'll have a little bit of finely diced um, capers and Bermuda onion and tomato. And we make little um, little cucumber rounds with, with a tiny bit of this on it. It's so good. Yep. Oh, thanks, Deb. I totally appreciate you putting that up there. That's exactly it. Gift 2020 gets you 50% off. And if you have any trouble signing up, you know you can you can contact me. All right, so I'm gonna take this little piece and I'm gonna shred it. And you can see this stuff is this is cooked to perfection. All right, and my friend uh, Rochelle, if she's still on there, we get great ones from Hawaii to, uh, from Alaska too. Well, I don't know why I said Hawaii. All right, so yeah. I've, I've got that. Let me just put my hand and the soup up. Because you don't really need much because that flavor on that salmon is gonna be super strong, yeah. Super strong and salty. So you want just a little bit, and a little bit puts a ton of flavor into the um, into the soup. This is really going to town. Let me just turn that down. All right. So let me take a little a little bite, and then I can I can show you what the egg looks like inside. Do you want to see what the egg looks like? Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Smoked salmon was the perfect choice on this. No big deal. Just a little bit of it. Yeah. All right. All right I like a runny yolk. I'm like Eddie Rabbit. I love a runny yolk. There you go. See, this is runny, just starting to head towards jammy. I love a runny yolk. Oh, oh God. <laughs> All right. See, isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. I need that with a potato. And I like doing that. And I do that with my ramen soups too, where, um, because that yolk, it cooks in the broth and it really gives it this nice creamy texture. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Right, I can't talk with my mouth full. That was, that was so good. Now, if you wanted to do this as the, um, um, as the Indian version, the only thing you'd have to do is at the onion stage, get the spices right, um, and then change up a little bit more, a few things. Like I'd put more ginger in instead of garlic, um, but I would make this exact same, just these exact same vegetables, and then I would just make the broth a little bit more um, Indian style. Christina was the closest, but not quite right. 
<laughs> yeah, that's, that's exactly what that song sounded like. <laughs> I love a rainy night. That's right. Yep. All right. <laughs> do we have um? Do we have one more giveaway? Yeah, let's do it. Let's All right. A, hold on. If you are in, you have to be in Food Two Point Five. So if you want to win for January, go to join. 2.5.com. Yeah. Coupon code gift 2020. You'll join for half off. This offer ends when, by the way, the half off? The half off ends. We're going to end it um, Tuesday morning. So they have all day Monday to do it. Yeah, tonight. So it ends absolutely tonight. Go yeah. to join 2.5.com mm -hmm. and sign up. And you'll get enrolled, not for the prizes tonight, but for, uh, for January, for the end of the month. So far, we have, I don't know, 20 bucks in the swear jar. We're about <laughs> to. Draw for the winner. And you have multiple opportunities to get your name entered, right? What do you do, Sandy, to get people's name entered? Oh, my God. When they join, I ask them to go to my YouTube channel. I ask them to go to, to follow me on Vimeo. Shh, baby, shh. Uh, follow me on Vimeo and follow me on uh, Food 2.5. And I give them credit for that, and I put put their name in three more times. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's awesome. So just for, just for liking and um, some of your stuff, they get more entries to win. Um, exactly. And we, I just yesterday gave away um, spices, a spice trio to four different people. I don't know why yeah. you're doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that because I want people trying new spices. Oh my I God. love that. And we're going to have another contest giving away spices too. I love it. So this is a um, complete cut cutlery set with steak knives. You got your bread knife. Um, uh, here it is. Sandy's favorite. Mm -hmm. The pizza knife. It actually says pizza on it. I love that. I love uh, that. The cheese knife is pretty stinking cool. Yeah. Right you know, it comes with a sharpener. I really like this grater here. All Have right. you used it? I haven't That's used this good. grater yet, no. I'm still good. going through. I'm about to throw away one of my graters, which is kind of old. Probably replace it with this. I've been using this set. It's sharp. It's awesome. What's better than matte black for 2020? That's I awesome. know, right? So you're going to get a brand new one. from. I'm going to send it to you from Amazon. You're not getting mine. So um, <laughs> that's all for the winner. Drum roll, everybody. <laughs> Hold on. Woo! I got everybody. Uh, well, you don't have to use all the ingredients. That's the beautiful part. If you want to make a soup with three ingredients, you could. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. All right, everybody. Who's going to win? Amy Corn Rebus. No way! Yes! Amy Corn Rebus gets the knives. She's not She's awesome. here. Amy is awesome. Amy's been outfitting her office as a second kitchen. So this is per couldn't be more perfect. Oh no, she is on here. Look at that. <laughs> and she's a former caterer. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah. You won, Amy. That's so cool. Yay. Good job. How fun was that? So the winner of the square jar was? The winner of the square jar was Rochelle Dunn. Rochelle Dunn. 100 bucks to Rochelle Dunn. Yep. Um, message me, Rochelle, and I will send you a Venmo. And then uh, Amy Corn, the winner of the knife set. That's awesome. Guys, I've had a great time. What do you guys think, Sandy? I have had such a blast as always, and this soup is so amazing. You have to try all this recipe. Um, so yeah. come out to my food 2.5 site. Um, follow me there, and you can have the recipe. Join 2.5.com. Yep. Okay, so let me put that up real quick. So if you want to join us for next month, we only open enrollment once a month, by the way. So we currently have a little over 200, 205 people yep. in the club. Yep. Um, we want more people in there. Right, yeah, you can help people. You get multiple opportunities throughout the month to get your name in the drawings. Yeah, uh, it's always fun trying to get my my swear jar up. <laughs> I know, right? And you, uh, you come on screen with me. It wasn't the final swear jar amount, by the way, tonight. I think it's eighteen or twenty bucks, something like that. Oh my god, Ashley, we'll tell us. We pick different prizes. Um, yeah. and then Sandy throws in, you know, one on one calls. She threw in a spice racks and. You know, it's just going to be a lot of fun. A lot of instant um, feedback. You, there are two levels to Club 2.5. The one is just club. You can yeah. just join. You get everything you see here. And yeah. we do these live cooking demonstrations once a week with me. She, yep. she does it multiple times during the week in yep. 
the, in the group. Yeah. Um, and then you have a concierge level. Tell them what they get for the concierge level. The concierge level is awesome. It's it's one on one with me. So if you are someone that needs someone looking over their shoulder, looking at their plates with them, or has a specific diet that they really need help with tweaking food and figuring out how to, how to eat that, or if you've got just a pain in the ass family and you all are <laughs> eating different things, um, I <laughs> I get involved in everything. <laughs> so it's. It's awesome because it's um, you get to tell me exactly what you need to be successful. You're at, we're at 18 bucks. I'll put one in for Marcy and I'll put in for my girl, Amy Cake Bread, because I love, <laughs> I love, her, I love her name so much. Oh, okay, right. That's great wine. <laughs> we'll make it even, even 20 bucks for tonight, Ashley. We're at $20. Oh, awesome. All right. We'll find a. We'll find another eyeball before the end of the month that I can. Uh, I, I interrupted you. You were like saying the tough family that's hard to cook yeah. for. Yeah. You, the beautiful thing with concierge is you tell me what you need and I, and I can create plans for you. I can create weekly plans. I can create recipes to meet your needs. Um, it's a, it's all up to you. What I, what I do for you for the month. Hmm. That's awesome. <laughs> Yes. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. So come have fun with us. We're going to, we're going to have more fun. Our lives are a blast. Not that yours yeah. aren't me. They're all, but they're just, you know, it's fun and it's food and how can it not be, you know? Well, after tonight, I mean, this is yeah. our last night on the public fan page. Yeah. So when we do our, when we start doing our weekly cooking shows and swear jar, it, it will. Be one. Yeah. 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 You'll only be able to see it if you belong in the club. That's it. Exactly. That includes the challenge people. Sorry. Sorry. Challenge people. If you're in my weight loss challenge, you got to be yeah. in the club also. So it's yeah. a great deal. Great deal. Okay. And we pick our nightly themes based on member requests. I did a whole night on coffee. I did a whole night on creamers. I did a whole night on cocktails. Um, <laughs> She said, yeah, awesome. <laughs> yes. I saw Jen. Jen is one of our newest. That's awesome. Plus this is on my way to the site. Awesome. Grumpy old man, so funny. <laughs> people join your club, of course, man. Of course, church people can join your club. Oh gosh, absolutely. Because you'll know. I mean, you know, it's just just on V night that we that we curse. <laughs> oh, thank you. Sandy, you're amazing. Thank you guys are so much for watching, and that was a lot of fun. Amy, I know how to get a hold of you, and yeah. we're still done. Well, I'll awesome. take I'll take care of them, Sandy. Beautiful. Have a great night, everybody. It was so much fun. Hey, guys, don't miss out on this, okay? We only open up the club once a month. This is how you get the cooking shows. That's how you're going to get all the recipes. We do cocktails. We do all sorts of fun stuff like this. Um, and you you can only get these cooking shows if, it, if you're in the cooking club. All right? So join 2.5.com. Join 2.5.com. Coupon code GIFT2020 gives you 50, 50 50% off. 50% off. Okay, guys. And um, it ends. It ends soon. Tomorrow. So you got to get in tonight. Okay? Don't miss out. All right. Thank you guys very much. See you in the club. Bye, guys. Congratulations to our winners, by the way.